the type of activities, I, as I see it, is twofold. One is as a research institution, so um, providing evidence and guidance uh, to policymakers. That is one, one path. The other one is, which is arguably more direct, is giving example and leading by example and engaging students. So once they graduate and they go and become active members of society, of in any case, uh, economic system, where they deal with, with, with materials and, and waste, uh, they can use the experiences they have had at university. And university can play a very active role and very engaging role for students while they are students on the campus. My universities can initiate all kinds of activities for students to engage in waste prevention and can also enable students to come with ideas themselves, can support students, can encourage students to come with ideas themselves. And in my experience, students always come with great ideas and really great questions and great initiatives. So that's, that's really a pleasure. It is, it is not something that university has to do for students. It is more that university would need to encourage students and they will do it. That's at least my experience. I came across a book by Tristram Stewart about food waste. And uh, I wanted to invite him to our university. He was in the Netherlands and I invited him to talk to my students. And uh, one afternoon with my student assistant, we were discussing that. And we know about uh, Tristram's initiative to cook feeding the 5K, feeding the 5,000 around the world. But we, are, we were in Wageningen, which is a very small place. And uh, we thought, well, there are, uh, we thought, why not organize something like that, but on a smaller scale? And I can tell you, once you have an idea and you have a small group of people who are committed to it, it just happens. You know, uh, um, American anthropologist Margaret Mead said, Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. It is the only thing that ever has. So, and this is my direct life experience. My student assistant and I are sitting at a desk talking, well, we would like to have a speech by Tristan Stewart, author of the book on food waste from UK. And we said, why wouldn't we organize something like that? And then we went down to it and made a plan. And what do you need to cook a meal? And it started from there. And I can tell you, we had overwhelming cooperation from the local farmers who were happy that we wanted to take their crop because the supermarkets wouldn't. The broccoli was too big. The leeks were too big for the supermarket. Potatoes were not round enough for the supermarket. Uh, pumpkins were too small or whatever. And it was all organic, even organic vegetables. And we cooked them and we had even more vegetables. So we cooked the meal and we brought a lot of fresh vegetables we couldn't, because we couldn't cook them all. And the people who came to eat, they took fre fresh vegetables with them. And they took them home. And I can assure you, youth like broccoli. I always tell you, children don't like green, youth don't like green, don't like vegetables. Absolutely not supported by evidence. I have evidence that it's not like that. So it is just you start and then we put in, you know, with these young people nowadays, my student, he, he made a Facebook page, invited people so people knew about this event and they came and we had support from, of course, from university. I asked support from facility management because we had to have a room open so that people can come and eat. And so it was a canteen, you know, normal canteen, but it was, I, of course, the little logistics you have to think about. And it was Sunday so that, you know, the canteen is not necessary for a regular meal of students between the lectures. And uh, we had access and we had, uh, you know, 
all, all the small details uh, and but this information can be found this is all on, on the internet and of course students are very resourceful so so you make a plan and uh, you see what needs to happen to cook a meal and uh, it's it just happened and we had so many volunteers we had many more volunteers than we could use the main thing is having an idea and going for it